Hi everyone, so I am back for my uh, second video post on LinkedIn. A couple of weeks ago, when I had a little more hair on my head, I posted a video for those who find themselves in a bit of a bother right now with regards to their job offers being rescinded, internship opportunities being withdrawn, all arising due to the COVID-19 crisis. If you are one of them and you find yourselves in such a situation, I would recommend that you go and check that video out. The link of that is going to be there with this post. Which brings me to today's video where I am going to talk about the other end of the spectrum. I'm going to talk about the people who are at a position of relative privilege, advantage at this point of time, having jobs where they can take decisions that make or break people's careers at this point of time. So if you're somebody who is on this platform, uh, probably in a decision making role in an organization and is all of a sudden receiving a lot of uh, requests for jobs and internships, here is what I think are the three most important things uh, you should keep in mind uh, at the time of dealing with uh, this situation. The first thing that you need to keep in mind is the big E, which is empathize. No matter how successful you've become, right now there was always a time in your life where you've had to reach out to people, whether out of hope or desperation, whether for selling your services or for a job or an internship but there has been a time when you've made cold, cold calls and dropped cold mails and sent cold messages on LinkedIn to, to get uh, some kind of a benefit for yourself. So all of a sudden the world has changed and you are in a, a situation of relative advantage and somebody else is reaching out to you. This is the absolutely uh, correct time to be honest to yourself and honest to your past and understand that uh, the other person who's reaching out to you is human as well, probably as human as you are back then uh, when you were you were sending out cold contacts. So not for once be unempathetic about uh, the situation of the person in front of you. Which brings me to the second point, which is respond. Uh, by response, I mean acknowledge the message that is coming to you. The last thing that uh, a person who is at this point of time in a difficult situation is looking for that glimmer of hope or that really small opportunity on chance to turn his life around he wants right now is the message to go out to somebody only to be read seen and not replied to the least that you can do if you're receiving such as such messages as these is read acknowledge and tell the person that i'm sorry that i cannot help you i have been in that position where i have dropped countless uh, cold mails and messages to people uh, asking for help when i've when i've been in situations of need and the most horrible that I have, I have felt is when you know people have have read and not responded and this this sense of despair is is what essentially pushes them back by uh, two three steps at least and that's that's the last thing that you would want to do uh, in the situation where you know everybody requires that kind of support from the world around them let them hang on to their hope reply and acknowledge to your message and the third and the final thing that I would talk about also is with an E and stands for explore. Never again, unless something really, really goes wrong such as now, will you have an opportunity of having smart, talented folks just walk right up to you in your inbox, in your LinkedIn messages, asking for, for them to be hired. These are the very same people you'll be fighting over for at campus placements, during uh, job fairs outside or or on job portals uh, online and when you do choose to hire them you will be probably hiring them on their terms if the market conditions are good and normal since situations have changed uh, hiring has been frozen headcounts aren't available you might be wondering that what do i do with these people even they're so even if they're super talented and super smart uh, there is no utility for them but if i were you I would still want to explore. I would still want to take that 5%, 10% extra effort to make that pitch to whoever it is in your organization who's responsible for hiring people, whether this CV is something that can add you value uh, down the line. Because again, there are two very good takeaways from doing that. One, you get to kind of offset the kind of advantage that they have on a negotiation table when you're trying to hire them in a normal market scenario but also the fact that when you give them that job offer or when you give them that, give them that internship offer during the times that they really really want it the most you build that intangible bond 
of loyalty that bond of commitment and that, that sense of attachment to your organization which perhaps comes from a place of being grateful and that bond will help you establish a kind of long term relationship with that person um, attrition rates, rates will be lower that person's probably want to give want, want to going to give you more uh, to prove himself or herself is probably want to be, want to want to stick around longer in your organization and uh, add value to the company in the long run so ere is something that you should always always be mindful of please empathize with people because one day you were there as well or you might be there sometime tomorrow you never know please respond the last thing a person who's really really desperate or troubled at this point of time wants is his for his hope of of getting a job or an internship being taken away right now be a good human being just reply so that he moves on to the next opportunity knowing that there is going to be somebody who's going to who's going to write back to me and give me that chance and lastly explore this is a once in a lifetime golden opportunity to catch people when they are not really getting what they want from the market and you know extract the most amount of value from them from a long term association where they are going to be grateful and you are going to be better off just by having somebody really really good so that that's all for today i really hope that um, this crisis comes to an end very soon and we can go back to living our lives like the way it was stay safe take care and see you soon